Alright, I think it's... I think it's on right now. Uh, hello everyone. Sorry if I'm not going to be talking for a second because I have to get this live stream ready to go. Uh, hang on. It's right now, it's just me and Keaton. I don't know if Blaze will feel up to being down here or not. He said he had a headache. So it may end up just being just the two of us. But we may also have a surprise. What? Why is that doing that? Okay. Oh, it's because I forgot to turn the volume. Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, we also have a special visitor at some point. We'll see. Um, all right. Hang on one second, guys. Ah, oh, why did I do that? That was silly. Nope, it wasn't silly. Aha. <laughs> it wasn't silly. Let me share the speed out real quick. Um, all right, give me one second. I got to post it two, pl three places, three places, four, four places, and that's it. Hold on. Nope, nope. I hate this mouse. There we go. There's one. Three more places. I thought you already did one before that, though. That was my main page, though. Oh. That doesn't count. All right. We're almost there. Uh, almost there. Two to go. I burped. Nerd bar. These are, the only, these are the pages I like to go to. So this is the only ones I like to... Oh! Yep. Yep. What? There we go. And... One more. One more. And then we'll be right there, guys. So if anybody showed up and they started talking... Uh, give me a second. Come on now. Yeah, come on. You know, uh, there is one advantage to only having two people on the thing. What? Is that I, uh, that middle seat, th this couch, man, it has this bar in the middle. By the time the live stream's <laughs> over, my butt hurts so bad. Okay. So you moved away right. for a little? Uh, Don Thomas, the Time Lord. Hello, how are you guys doing? Very good. Hey, Robert Just a Fan. Happy Sunday. Just Almost there. there. Question mark from Robert Justin. I don't know what the question mark means. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it's just me and Keaton for now. Uh, Blaze had a headache, uh, so for now it's just the two of us. I don't know if they'll join later or what. Um, here's the things we're gonna talk about tonight. I don't know if it's gonna be as long as usual because for one thing, I film this on my phone and my phone is almost dead, yeah. so it may cut off before we even get to anything on the list. Uh, the things we're gonna talk about: the reveal of the San Diego Comic Con Hulk from Marvel Legends. The ridiculousness of the Mattel San Diego Comic Con uh, pre sale thing. Marvel Legends rumors and more confirmation type stuff. Uh, the Diamond Select in game reveal. The Batman, the 30th anniversary of Batman 89. And uh, the Countdown comic thing that was super disappointing. Uh, do I have an Ecto 1? Not like a real one. Do you have an Ecto 1? I don't have a real one. I would do external charger, but here's the deal. I When I put this camera inside this thing, it blocks the charging spot. This this camera holder thing, Gizmo, when you insert your can your phone into it, it blocks the spot where the charger is. So, like, I can't charge my phone while I'm doing it. That Countdown comic is the worst. Okay, we're going to start there since Robert just a fan put Gurr Countdown comic. All right, so Marvel, I, don't, I think we talked about this maybe a little bit. Marvel posted this on their social media feed, this four yeah, in webbing, and it looked like the font from the Spider-Man movies. And everybody's like, oh, Marvel's doing a comic that is a adapting Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4. This is amazing. Super, people were super excited. Some people said that. Some people said the Fantastic Four Spider-Man crossover is going to happen. That's what's going to happen. So everybody was really excited. And then C.D. Belusky, or whatever his name is, the, the editor-in-chief at Marvel, comes on and says, you'll never guess what this is. It, you, you'll never see this coming. And so the next day, uh, they post a three that's the same way. And everybody's like, oh, well, I guess that's not the Spider-Man 4 comic. Oh, and the next day, they posted a two. And the oh. next day, they posted a one. So it was just a countdown. Ryan F. 
54 says, I saw you on Zach Ryan and Kurt Harkins' channel. How are those guys in person? They seem like really, really fun people. They are awesome. They are super, super cool. I actually text back and forth with Zach Ryder a lot. Um, he really does know his stuff. Like, he's really into the, the stuff. And he gets really excited about toys. Like, he got way into Dark Knight Returns figures, and we were texting back and forth. He was asking which ones to go after. Um, and then when he's now he's into the, the vintage Star Wars, he was very excited about vintage Star Wars and trying to get them all and picking out the best ones and all that stuff. So, yeah, super cool guys in person. I don't interact with Kurt Hawkins as much, just the times where he's been in. But I do interact with Zach Ryder um, through text quite a bit. Uh, we love an Alex Ross comic. Yeah, so Alex Ross did the artwork, the paintings at the beginning of like Spider-Man 2, or it was like the recap stuff in the, sc the credits in the beginning. Remember that? No, I don't remember that. Well, there was like paintings at the beginning. It was like oh, recapping yeah, 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 everything. Yeah. Uh, so he posted, too, like one of his painting things for Spider-Man, the movies, and he put hashtag uh, Spider-Man 4 or something right after. I never thought that's what's happening. So the announcement, though, is, is that... J.J. Abrams and his son are writing a Spider-Man comic. Is that... It's not that cool. It's not that cool. For one thing... Okay, so J.J. Abrams is telling... Is coming up with a story with his son to do a Spider-Man comic. And then his son's going to be doing this outline. Which really doesn't have that much to do with J.J. Abrams. It sounds like his son is writing this comic. Uh, so, it was like super disappointing. Um, hey, you guys! That's a good news reference, yes. Uh, just before you came on, I was watching a bear being in a tree, <laughs> being in a tree, being tranquilized and bouncing off a trampoline. That's super weird. Uh, so, yeah, so this is super disappointing. Like, to think that you're going to get a Sam Raimi Spider-Man 4 comic, but instead yeah. you get J.J. Abrams' son writing a Spider-Man comic. Oh, man, that's sad. That's really sad. And here's the other thing, too, is that a lot of people work really hard to be in comics. Like, they... They put in the time and the effort. They work for years to be involved in comics, and they, they own their craft, and they, you know, they 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 pay their dues, and they do independent stuff, and take whatever job they can get to hopefully one day be able to write for comics. And they try for Marvel, try and try and try, and these guys never get a shot. But since he's the son of a famous director who doesn't even write comics, he gets a shot at Spider-Man, yeah, like the the flagship character of Marvel. It's just a complete backfire, in my opinion. To go from something that could be super, super cool, and everybody uh, would that everybody would love, and it would sell great, to being this thing where it's like, oh, Son of Abrams writes a Spider-Man comic. Okay. It probably won't be that cool. good. Yeah, I don't know how, I mean, they, they said they're going to introduce a new character called Cadaverous that's really going to be problems for Spider-Man, but it's just like, I don't know. It doesn't seem that cool to me. All right, so there's that. Um, the next thing, what do you want to talk about out of these? Uh, I don't care. Pick one. Um... That, I guess. Wait, I is this a game? Sure. Pick. All right. Uh, first of all, hang on. Uh, just come on. Who do you think directed the best Spider-Man movie? Sam Raimi, Sam for Raimi, sure. Yeah. I still can't believe Zack Ryder bought those wood prototypes with blister packaging for the old WWE Hasbro figures. In case you guys don't know that are watching this, uh, the wrestlers Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins came to the toy department. They've been there twice. And on the first visit, Zack bought one of the wood patterns for the packaging for the Hasbro WWF figures which is this, um, they created these wood patterns to create prototype molds to do the bubble packaging for these figures. And it's, so they're, they're like one of a kind, and he bought one of them. And they were, they were pretty pricey. Uh, I lost faith in franchises lately, Star Wars, Star Trek, DC, Marvel, all being trashed, and they have good stuff, they cancel it. I totally agree with that. Sorry, WWF, I just watched the old stuff. You know, I'm kind of at that point, too. Where it, speaking of the old stuff, we'll come back to this. Okay, okay? okay, okay. Speaking of the old yeah, stuff, today... Yeah. That's this segues right into this. Today is the 30th anniversary of Batman '89. Tim Burton's Batman, my favorite Batman film. My favorite. Your favorite Batman film. Uh, it's a um, revolutionary film from back then that you know comic films today wouldn't exist had Batman '89 not been the success it was and kind of changed people's views of what a comic book movie could be. Uh, I remember that summer so vividly. There was Batman everywhere. I don't think there's been a, a movie event. I, well, I know there's not been a movie event since. You would, I mean, I can't, it's, for anybody that wasn't there, it's, almost, it's impossible to explain what it was like. Yeah. There was just, that movie was everywhere that summer. There was nowhere you could go without seeing something Batman. And people were so hyped to see this movie. And it was unlike anything you'd ever seen. It changed the public's entire perception of Batman. There would be no Batman the Animated Series if it wasn't for this movie. There would be no 
Batman the way he is on Justice League. There would be no Batman as he exists today if it weren't for that movie completely changing the public's perception of what Batman is. Uh, up to that point, we had the 60s campy Adam West Batman, and that's what everybody thought of as Batman. It was really good. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. The campy 60s series is fun, but that's what everybody thought of Batman at that time. You know, you couldn't watch an, a news uh, story or some kind of video segment about Batman without them saying, like, Biff, bang, pow, how's this new Batman going to... Whoa, this new Batman seems dark. Like, the concept of a dark Batman was foreign to everybody. Like, they all thought of him as this cheesy Adam West version, um, and then Tim Burton's movie came around and just turned everybody on their ear. Man, it was it changed everything. Uh, let me look at these questions real quick here. Um, do you like Sam Raimi's movies, The Evil Dead? I do. I love Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness. Um, uh, yeah, they're great. They're fantastic. Love 89 Batman. I still love Adam West no matter what they say. I was working at the Sizzler as a teen. Batman t-shirts all over the place. Yeah, man. It was crazy. I was 11 years old. What an incredible summer. Do you think it would be cool if they did a live-action Batman Beyond movie with Keaton reprising Bruce Wayne? Yes, I do, Ryan. I think that would be awesome. Or Dark Knight Returns. Either one I'd be fine with. That's, they're leaving money on the table by not getting uh, Keaton back to do something with Batman. I still kind of bummed on Nicholson Joker. I wanted the Shining Joker but got Cesar Romero instead. I loved Nicholson's Joker. Oh, yeah. I thought he was appropriately over the top, but at the same time, like, crazy. Like, there was an, just this this craziness to him. Uh, like, when he's talking to the corpse, or when he's cutting out all the pictures and dancing around, but there's still that homicidal thing on the edge. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we love them film, and I'm, it's insane to me that it's 30 years old, because to me it's still so fresh and new, uh, and it makes me feel really old, though that it's been 30 years since that movie hit. Um, just, just bonkers. Uh, the hey James, ever dance the devil in the pain of moonlight? Hey, Jared's nice. on. What's up, dude? Uh, had to see Heath Joker giving you the, the years later. Uh, I didn't, I'm not a big fan of Heath Joker, honestly. He's not my thing. Uh, I prefer Nicholson's Joker or Mark Hamill's Joker, and I'm actually pretty excited about Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. But there's that. All right, back to this this toy stuff. Happy birthday, Batman '89. Which one do you want to do? You want to do the DSTN game? Yeah. All right. So we've been waiting for a while for Diamond Select slash Marvel Select to show any kind of Avengers in-game product, and they finally showed one, and that's the Professor Hulk in the quantum suit with what appears to be an interchangeable Nano Hulk gauntlet, uh, and I think he looks awesome. Yeah, he, um, he looks great, but I just don't like Professor Hulk. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Professor Hulk from the movie either. I think this is the third company to do that outfit. I think maybe Figure Arts has one coming, and some other one, Mafex maybe. But they're all really expensive ones, um, whereas the Diamond Select version will be like $28. It's pretty and good. And looks pretty awesome. And I think a lot of people wanted Marvel Legends to do him in this outfit and not just him from the weird kind of go back to New York flashback sequence is what which is what Marvel Legends did for the build a figure. And some people are even already saying, like, I wonder if you can switch this head onto a different body or um, I wonder if he'll plug into my Marvel Legends display. So they're already looking at it like a way to bring their Professor Hulk figure over their Marvel Legends. I mean, I think Marvel Select does a great job, so Yeah, they they did really good. They do really good. Yeah, they do really cool stuff. I'm I'm pretty excited to get that Hulk. All right. Uh, I wish Scarecrow got more love. I agree with that. I wish he was in more films and had a bigger media role. Maybe he will in the Robert Pattinson film. Uh, Professor Hulk is funny. Yeah, he's a little too funny for me. Um, I'm so so on Professor Hulk and time travel. Yay, more time travel. Uh, the, I do admit that I, I laughed when he did the um, when he dabbed at the table because he was so geeky. I mean, that's supposed to be five years from now too. Like dabbing will definitely not be. It's not, gonna be it's not around anymore. Uh, rather have Fat Thor. I wonder if Diamond Select will do Fat Thor. I'm thinking that if Diamond Select does m maybe three figures from the movie, there's a good chance that you've seen Professor Hulk. They would we'll probably get, hopefully, Thanos, because Marvel Select still hasn't done a movie Thanos, and maybe Fat Thor. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Hey, guys, I just saw the post on Facebook. What all did I miss? Okay, so far, we talked about the ridiculous countdown comic from Spider-Man. The Marvel countdown thing that led to nothing, basically, other than a J.J. Abrams and Son doing a Spider-Man comic. And then we said how awesome it was that Batman 89 has turned 30 years old. 
Uh, that's what you missed. And now we're talking about Diamond Select, in-game Hulk. I picked up the Ghostbusters Ultimate Visual History book, and I love it. Jaren, that book is awesome. I also highly recommend that Turtles Ultimate Visual Guide. That book is really Blaise cool, too. That, he? Yeah, he does. Me and Blaze both have a copy of that. I don't have either. You can borrow it sometime if you want to read it. Yeah. It's really cool. Uh, you should check out the Ghostbusters one, too. That, that one is just an extra one. If he's got it right now, that Ghostbuster one. I have two of that Ghostbuster one, so you guys read one, and I have one. Oh, so, I don't know that. Or that one's floating around. You can read it. Either. He might have borrowed it. Uh, Scott, you want my autograph, kid? Uh, no. Who's Scott? What? Scott, you want my autograph? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're talking about um, Scott Lang. Uh, I was, you're jumping back to Endgame. My bad. Uh, cool. Thanks, guys. No problem. Master the Wicked 89. Okay. So, uh, I'm excited about the Hulk. I'm curious to see what else they're going to be. Like I said, I think maybe Fat Thor is a good possibility, and Thanos is a good possibility. I think Captain America is a good possibility, so it's probably one of those... If they're going to do three figures, I would guess it's going to be the Hulk, which you've already seen, Thanos, and um, Cap. But if they're going to be four, it would probably be Fat Thor. Yeah. And maybe Iron Man as at the Disney store or something like that, like they did the Mark 50. Because the suit he wears in Endgame... Is basically the Infinity War suit, but repainted. Yeah, I it was. Basically, so you could probably get that mold out and do the same thing with it. Uh, how do you feel about the in-game re-release from Kyle Hayworth? What's up, dude? That reminds me. Um, we missed two. Hang on. You guys, oh, Robert, just a fan. That, I was just about to say this because Kyle asked this. Uh, did you guys finally see Batman TMNT? We did watch Batman yes. TMNT. We bought it. I loved it. Yeah, it was great. I thought it was really cool. It was not like a kid-ish It thing. was not. It was really good. I thought it was the voice acting was great. That guy did a good job of kind of sounding like Kevin Conroy, even. Like, he kind of sounded like the Batman animated series Batman. Yeah, it was... I thought it was I great. It. I thought it was really good. I'm glad we bought it. Uh, okay. Any recent news on Ghostbusters 3 movie? I think the only most recent stuff is the stuff that came out of FanFest, where they're kind of confirming that the original cast is coming back. Like, where Jason Reitman was saying that all the original cast has read their script... Annie Potts has pretty much said she's in it. Sigourney Weaver's pretty much said that she's in it. I think we're just waiting for like some kind of big event, like maybe San Diego Comic Con, for the official reveal. Uh, we should get Diamond Select Spider Man with Instant Kill. Well, they did the the Iron Spider, so if they just did like they just had the color his eyes or something like that, you could pretty much do that. Uh, they do a female pack. I don't know what that is. What's up, Brady's perspective? Uh, Blaze has a headache. So, he may join, come down later if he feels better. I don't know. Uh, have you heard Jim Carrey has passed away? What was the best film for you we missed? Is this the same person that just said Robert Pattinson passed away last? Oh, he might thing? be. I think it might be the, the recurring thing. The I will just say my favorite uh, Jim Carrey film was probably Dumb and Dumber. I think that's probably the one that I liked the most. Um, the fight between Batman and Shredder was intense. Yes, it was. It was oh, awesome. Yeah. What's up, David Patrick? Uh... They look like a freaking bad T. Raphael Batman versus Teenage Ninja Turtles. That was great. Uh, do you think that will be the Fat Thor first in shape Thor? I don't know. I'm not sure what they're going to do with Thor as far as the figures go. Happy late birthday to Gracie. Oh, that's very nice. I don't think Jim Carrey really passed away. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Caffeine will kill you. That's from Batman Forever. Okay, so Batman Forever. I think I've said it before in the live stream. I can watch Batman and Robin more than I can watch Batman yeah. Forever. Uh, the, Batman Forever, Jim Carrey is great as the Riddler. He's funny. I like the way Robin looks. But as far as actually watching it, I have a tough time getting to Batman Forever. It's kind of... Arnold Schwarzenegger is too rough. But Arnold Schwarzenegger is so funny, man. All those one-liners. It's so over the top. What's up, Scat Shot? I think I said your name right. Scat Shot. Oh. Scat Shot. Uh, thank you very much for saying awesome channel, though, Sarah Bees. Were you the same one that said last week that Robert Pattinson died? I can't remember. Tommy Lee Jones is Two Face. Yeah, was he Two Face though, or just kind of like a Joker ripoff? <laughs> That's really what it felt more like to me. Um, okay, where were we? Okay, we said we talked about the normal select stuff. Now the Mattel San Diego Comic Con stuff. Okay, so Mattel's got the Motu Origins two pack. Oh, I think we may have a special person that's going to come down for a second. Oh, I hear. He's coming. I hear. I heard him go through the, to the door a few times. Yeah, but I, 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 I hear. So we're going to have a brief visit from somebody else here real quick. Hi. Hi, come over here. 
Come over here. Look who's here. This is Gracie. Uh, no, see, you're going to show up. You're going to show up. Look, look, look. See, this takes a minute for it to show. There you are. So this is the first time Gracie's ever been <laughs> on one of these. Uh, Brody's watching right now. You want to say hi to Brody? Yeah. Hi. See, it'll take a second, and it'll show you. Say it. Watch. See, because this is on the way. You ready? Hi, Gracie. Okay. So people, uh, let's see, Alpha Trion 92 just said, hi, Gracie. And then Robert Just a Fan says, hi, too. You see that? They said hi to you. Why did they say hi? Yeah. Hi. So, Gracie, you had a birthday, didn't you? Yes. How old did you turn? Five. Five, that's right. <laughs> and, Gracie, who's your favorite superhero? You. Oh, I'm your favorite superhero. That's very nice. <laughs> okay, so we may have asked her that beforehand, but she said I was her favorite superhero without being coerced. And so she decided to get here. Uh, Jared says hi, Gracie. And David says hi, Gracie. Can you say hi to him? Hi. All right. All right. Gracie, when you came to my house, I have a... Oh, Brody has a surprise for you when he comes. Uh, the Briscoe 1234 also says hello to Gracie. Briscoe County Junior. Gracie, you want to say what you got for your birthday? What, what I built for you today? What? What did I build for you today? He got me a Playmobil. Playmobil what? Playmobil Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters what? We got the Playmobil Ghostbuster Firehouse and we built it today. It was awesome. Yeah, that, that set is really cool. All right, baby, you going back up to Mommy? So you can go up there and see on TV up there, too? Right? Okay, bye-bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, so. We still have three people. What? We still have three people in the video. Still have three people. We still have three people. Okay, so, uh, where was I? Mattel, San Diego Comic-Con. Here's the deal. So Mattel has the Motu Origins 2-pack, and they've got this Batman pack at San Diego Comic-Con, right? I'm going to explain this all to you. I know, I know you don't know what's going on. I'm going to explain it all to you. Uh, Robert, just a fan. Wow, fire. Remember when you went all the way? What happened? Wow, time trial. I know it's crazy, isn't it? To go from that video where we revealed to these dudes that Gracie was on the way to Gracie's Five and just came down here and said <laughs> hi. So, Mattel, they have these exclusives, right? I don't know how many of you guys know about the, all the stuff that's happening. So, I'm just going to lay it out because he doesn't know. As far as I know, this is this is the way it read to me, and it seems like to other people online, this is the way it reads. Mattel has these exclusives for San Diego Comic Con, the Motu Origins two pack. Hey, wake up! <laughs> wake up! Uh, the Motu Origins two pack. They got the Batman five pack or something like that, and they got uh, a Batmobile for the, for Batman eighty nine thirtieth anniversary. You had to go online for their San Diego Con pre sale, right? And then you had to get the pre-sale, and then you'd have to go to San Diego Comic-Con, go to the booth, and ordinarily you would think, okay, you go to the booth and you pick up the things you bought. No. Then you get validated that you came to the show, and then they mail it to you. Why don't you just get it there? Why don't you just get it there? Yeah. What's the whole point of this entire endeavor of going there just to say you went there right. to then have them send you something in the mail? Like, hey, I went here. Now, can you send this? I was to me? here. Now, can you send it to me? So, <laughs> thank you very much, Don. Uh, so, th the whole thing is just so ridiculous to me that they're not going to take their San Diego Comic Con exclusive to San Diego Comic Con. It's it's not even going to be there. It's <laughs> it, there's nothing there. There's nothing San Diego Comic Con exclusive about it, other than the fact that you had to go to San Diego Comic Con to prove you were there to have it. So I'm wondering, can, I guess nobody can even go buy it there? So you I had to buy not. it online first to then show up and say you went there for them to mail it to you. And, and Mattel messes things up so often that what, what's to happen if you bought it online, you went to the show, you proved you were there, and then somehow they mess it up. And they don't have record of you being there, and then they don't mail you the thing. Yeah, that would... Mm, that would stink. Because you drove all the way out you, there, You too. went all the way out there, for, and then you did all this work they told you to do, and then you don't get it. Like, that sounds like a nightmare to me. Yeah, I feel like they're losing sales. That makes this. no sense to me at all. It's it's yeah. completely ridiculous. Uh, okay, let me get back through here real quick. Uh, isn't there a Snake Mountain item coming? Yeah, uh, Super 7 did the Snake Mountain uh, pre-sale, and they hit the numbers they needed. So there's going to be a $700 Snake Mountain. I think it's $700. It's no, $600 plus $150 shipping. Uh, have you heard anything on the new Motu Super 7 movie figures? 
I feel like we might even get them. I think we are probably going to get them. I don't think, though, that they're going to look anything like the prototypes. Um, Carver picture kind of like Kenner Star Wars. Yeah, exactly. It's like the early bird certificate where you bought this. Er okay, so for the original Star Wars, you, you probably don't know about this. When Star Wars came to theaters, uh, when Star Wars was first out in 77, nobody expected it to be what it was. So Kenner had nothing really ready for the movie when the movie came out, and it was this huge thing. So they came up with this idea of the empty box campaign. So it was like the early bird certificate. It was this like packet that had like a display area and stickers and a certificate that you sent in to get the four figures as soon as they were made. So you were, they were selling these empty envelopes for the cost of basically four figures in stores to have something to sell. It was a huge success. And then people got the figures six months down the line. So that's kind of what they're doing here where they're, sending, they're selling you this piece of paper yeah. and you're going to get the figures whenever they send them out. <laughs> Uh, is Toys R Us coming back or is that a joke? I don't know. It's, it's... What? Okay, so there's been a news article that's come out that the people that have, like, controlling interest in some of the Toys R Us brands, I think it is, is bringing back true kids, like TRU kids, and there will be smaller stores, like a third of the size they were before, with more focus on experience and their own brands um, that will be out around the holidays. But the same thing happened last year that KD was supposed to come back they're supposed to have these pop-up stores, and that didn't happen. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm not gonna get excited. I'm not gonna get excited happen. either. Plus, if it's gonna just gonna be all their in-store brands, like if you went to, I think it was Meyer or Kroger, I can't remember. One of the chain outlets had all these Toys R Us brand stuff in this like display island thing, and it was all the like the lame stuff that you never bought at Toys R Us, like all the stuff that was their own brand stuff that nobody was buying anyway. So if it's all gonna be that stuff, I don't care about that. I want to go and buy Marvel Legends. I want to go buy uh, Star like Wars figures. Yeah, I don't want like their 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 own doll line and like their weird dinosaur guys and like I don't know like like Animal Alley with all the plush and stuff. Like that's that's not what I want. That's just making me sad to think that that's what Toys R Us is now. Uh, let's see. Gives new meaning to exclusive. Yeah. Love that Dolph Lundgren figure. I think it looks really good in the prototype form. I'm very curious to see what it's going to look like in actual production form. Because Super 7 has not been doing the best job of having their production figures match their prototypes. Uh, what year did you first like Batman and Robin, the 1997 movie? I saw it in 1997. Um, so me and my dad have seen every Batman film together when they come out. And at the time of 1997, there was a Warner Brothers studio store. Every time we go to Kenwood Town Center, I always go, what are you, sitting up straighter? Are you trying to look taller than me right about now? Um, so, uh, <laughs> so there was the Warner Brothers studio store in uh, Kenwood Town Center. Every time we go to Kenwood Town Center, I go, you're going to slouch down some. You're making me weird now. Okay. Uh, so uh, there's this, there was this store called the Warner Brothers studio store. And I would go to this Warner Brothers Studio store, and I knew the people that were in the store, and I loved the store. Anybody that's old, as old as me remembers the Warner Brothers Studio store, right? Uh, and so I came in one, and Rick, the guy that worked there, right before Warner, Batman and Robin was coming out, and I knew Batman Forever was no good. I, at that point, I was like, okay, Batman Forever wasn't that good. But I was still hyped, right? And he goes to me, he's like, hey, man, I know, you're, yeah, I know you love Batman. We've got this special Warner Brothers event that we have, we were they're having us sell premiere tickets to. You see the movie. I think it was. I think it was two days before it came out in regular theaters or something. And the tickets were like twenty bucks each or something like that. It was a crazy amount for that time. And it's nineteen ninety seven. That's what twenty years ago, twenty some years ago. Tickets were like six bucks for a movie ticket then. And I was like, oh man, twenty bucks. Well, I guess I'm doing it. And so I bought two of them. One for me, and one for my dad. I spent like forty bucks to see this movie, and we saw it and like. <laughs> it was just so bad and like it was almost so bad it was good but at that time it wasn't so bad that it was good it was just really bad now it's and, so bad and now it's so bad it's, it's good but I remember driving home afterwards and my dad was like uh, so um did you like that? and I was like no that was horrible he's like oh I was really afraid that you liked that movie and I was going to have to pretend like I liked it too this entire ride home <laughs> that movie was awful so yeah I spent 40 bucks to see that and Robin in advance um, terrible uh, what movie where Dolph goes, you go in peace? I want that thing. Oh, the one where he says uh, that it's We Come in Peace. And he says, you go in pieces. And I think a movie might be called They Come in Peace or something like that. I think that's that's the one you're talking about. Yeah. That you go in pieces. 
You seen the new Stranger Things trailer? Or what did you think? I haven't watched it yet, Jack. I haven't seen it. Uh, they'll trust them. They'll probably sell the same stuff. Toys R Us, Robert Justin Fan. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid that that's what it's going to be. That it's going to be all those Toys R Us brands. I miss the old JP toys from Kenner. Those toys were so cool. They were cool. Masters of Wicked. All the rest. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Am I right in thinking that Batman and Ghostbusters 2 came out the same year? And if so, what movie were you more excited for at the time they came out? Uh, they did come out the same year. I was more excited for Batman, but I was still super stoked for Ghostbusters 2. Um, I think I had more... They made more stuff for Batman. Like, there was... Batman was more prevalent, so you couldn't escape the excitement for Batman. There was a good amount of Ghostbusters 2 stuff going on, but... Batman was everywhere. And I already had a Ghostbusters movie. I didn't have you a Batman, have, movie I Batman movie yet. I didn't have that yet. Uh, I was, but I was super excited for both. We also had that summer. It was a crazy summer. It's huge. Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, Star Trek V, The Final Frontier. Um, yeah, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, the third Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, and I, I think there's another one, too, that I'm forgetting. Uh, one, of the, uh, uh, one of the Bond films. I think it was, it was Timothy Dalton's second one, I want to say. License to Kill, maybe? Was that year? I can't remember. Uh, okay. W WB stores had the most horrendous Kenner DC repaints. Yes, they did. Iron Bison, yes, they did. Uh, we still get some of those coming through the toy department, and they are crazy. Where they would just... So Warner Brothers Studio Store would get a whole line of Batman figures that were repaints of, like, Legends of Batman or stuff like that. And they just right. threw whatever paint colors were on them. There was, like, oh. Nightwing in purple and orange or something. It was, like... Anyway. The stupidest repaint you can imagine, uh, and that people would buy them just because it was exclusive. Oh, that's pretty lame. It's really, though. it's really silly. Uh, do you remember the old cool stores? Zare, Turns, Turnstile, Ventures, Zellers, Suncoast, Bargain Town. Zares I loved. Gold Circle I loved. Um, okay, hang on. Don't forget this question. What? Don't forget this. Don Tom's the time. Yeah, don't, you don't read it out loud, but read it yourself. Because I have to talk about Gold Circle. Okay. Gold Circle was my favorite store when I was a kid. And before I could drive when I was younger, I thought, if I can remember the way to Gold Circle, I'll be set. If I can just remember the way, all the turns and all the streets <laughs> I mean, to Gold Circle, once I'm able to drive, I'll be set. You're just, you're just set for every time. I'm set. I'm set for the rest of my life. I thought that as a kid, and so I would, every time we'd go to Gold Circle, I would remember the street names, and I remember where my dad would turn, and all these things. Gold Circle was kind of like Walmart, but way better. Um, it had a great toy aisle that's like, their toy aisles put today's toy stores to shame. So I would remember all these things on the way there, and then of course Gold Circle like got turned into hills and then closed down before I could even drive. So it was like, all my best laid plans of what I was going to do with my life when I turned 16 was over. Uh, but Zare's... Um, Ames, Hills, Gold Circle, KB Toys, Children's Palace, Johnny's Toys. I miss all of them. They're all gone now. We got Walmart and Target. Who cares? Uh, okay. What happened? When you buy your action figures, this is from Don, when you buy your action figures, do you ever open them or do you keep them in mint condition? I almost always open everything. The stuff you see behind me here, like these Ghostbusters carded figures, I only have them carded because I have them loose already. Um, I don't have anything that I've only got carded. I, I open everything. You pretty much open everything. I open everything. I open all my stuff. Uh, because at that point, I feel like I'm just buying a picture if I don't open it. But I do like having, for Ghostbusters especially, I like having one of each. I don't know why, but I like having both of them. Uh, I don't know what's, I don't know what I've missed. I missed some things. I'm I sorry. Are you guys going to see the new Chucky? I heard it was good. I also heard it was good. Two guys came into the toy department this weekend and said it was good. I don't know. I, I don't, didn't think it looked I'm any not good. Seeing You're it. not going to see it. You're going to get scared. I haven't even seen the first one. Uh, I'm For Kirk Hawkins and Zack Ryder, cool off camera when they came to the store. Yeah, somebody else asked that earlier. They're super cool guys, off camera and on. Super cool guys. Uh, I like I, I, I do text Zack Ryder back and forth now and again. Yeah. Um, and That's he's cool. way in the toys. He's a really cool guy. Uh, I want an Ecto 1 from a 6 inch Mattel Ghostbusters. I also want an Ecto 1 from my 6 inch Mattel Ghostbusters. And I want an Ecto 1. Uh, Robert Justin Fan, I was so hyped for Star Trek 5 that, um, I, hey, I like Star Trek 5. If they could go back and. Redo the effects for Star Trek V, you'd have a much better film. I, I think that it, it, it captures the vibe of a classic Trek TV episode better than any other film. Uh, especially the, the relationships of Spock, Kirk, and Bones. But the effects are rough. Uh, Star Trek VI is awesome still, though. We need a new toy store that has everything from old to brand new to high-end collectibles, etc. Uh, go to the toy department in Fairfield, Ohio. 
Uh, guys, have you seen the Mattel WWE Ghostbusters figures yet? A dude on YouTube has shown them off illegally, I'm sure. They're actually not terrible, but not inspired. I have not seen that. i got to find that. So they're going to be doing wrestling WWE meets Ghostbusters. So like WWE stars as Ghostbusters. I thought kind of, that, kind of no, that was Turtles. They did Turtles, yeah. yeah. That, that's cool. Uh, being that I wasn't allowed then, was the bad hype similar to what we have nowadays with Infinity War and Endgame where it was on a far bigger scale? It was on a far bigger scale, Oliver. I mean, it was, it was insanity. I mean, there was, you couldn't go down the street without seeing somebody in a Batman shirt. You literally could not. <laughs> like, everybody had on Batman shirts. Everybody was talking about the movie. It was on every news station. Um, there were, the Bat Dance music video was on constant play. It was... Everywhere. I mean, everybody was hyped for the movie. Not not even on the same level. Um, it was crazy, dude. Uh, let's see. I miss the old days. Neighborhood pharmacies sold all the toys for a buck. I remember being in Battlestar Galactic like Heaven, especially the silence. I, Super X, back when I was a kid. That's where you get like my vintage Star Wars and stuff. What are you going to miss most about Cincy Nerd? Are you gone, dude? Because I, I was talking about the other day, like, has Cincy already left for Texas and I just don't realize it? I... So are you gone, dude? Are you, like, gone? You're leaving on Friday. Okay, well, I will see you again. I'm not going to be at the shop. All right, well, um, pop in on these live streams and stuff, and I'll do the same for yours. All right? Even though I have, like, four jobs. Uh, <laughs> my wife said, is that the Trek with the smart whale? <laughs> no, that's Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. And whales are very smart. Uh, do you think wrestlers make good actors when it comes to movies? The Rock does. Hulk Hogan did in Suburban Commando. Uh, 89 Batman Hype will never, ever be matched. Thank you, Cincy. That is very true. It'll never, ever be at the same level. Um, your comic book pickups video convinced me to buy the True Believers Aunt May Marrying Doc Ock issue. It was very fun to read. Yeah, enjoyable. What did you guys think? Did you watch, read that yet? Yeah, I read it. What did you think? I liked it. I, I love that old I issue. Much I think it's fun. Uh, I mean, it's a dollar. It's great. I remember Batman Movie Summer. It was great. Nothing compares to it or probably ever will. Albatron, Yes. Nothing ever compares to that. It's, it was insane. It was really insane. Uh, have you seen the Osmosis Jones film? I have not. I heard a guy got beat up because he gave spoilers to Endgame in China. I heard. You know what? You, you spoil a movie outside the theater, you, you take your chances. How bad did he get beat up? You take your chances. Um, Don Thomas, the Time Lord, do you like Star Trek? Yes. I love Star Trek. <laughs> There's a Terran Empire tattoo on my arm. Um, I... I used to run a Star Trek daily blog at PCTheAction.net, and I also yeah. did a collector's blog for StarTrek.com for a while there. And then I worked on the Star Trek Vault book with Scott Tipton. So yes, I do love Star Trek, mostly just classic Trek. Um, Hulk Hogan was also good in Rocky Three. Yeah, he was as uh, Thunder Lips. Sometimes I accidentally call him Hot Lips from like Mash, but he's not Hot Lips. He's Thunder Lips. <laughs> just watched Batman '89 today for the one millionth time in life. Never gets old. No, it doesn't, Master. Of the Wicked 89. Any theories on the two shocking twists at the end of Far From Home? Uh, yeah, I've been reading some stuff that there's going to be some shocking twists at the end of Far From Home. Um, I think that... I know. Oh, what Another do you think? Another person will find out that he's Spider-Man. Yeah, well, everybody's finding out that he's <laughs> Spider-Man. Um, uh, you know, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to accidentally, actually maybe say something that does happen in the movie. Um, I think that... I, I don't know if it's going to be so much of a shocking twist... I think maybe you're going to see the beginnings of, um, see, I feel like I might, if I say something and it's right, I don't want to feel like I've put a, well, something you don't in know. somebody's you head. Since y'all messaged you, all right? I don't want to say it. Um, let's see. Batman 89 movie lines were out of the cinema into the parking lot here in the Philly area. I was six and still remember it distinctly. I remember going to the drive-in to see it and the line of cars trying to get into the drive-in. And I vividly remember, um... So my parents had been building up this event for us. Like it weren't, they wouldn't say what it was going to be. Like, we're already doing something special this one weekend. And I should have at the time put together it was Batman. Uh, but we had to lay down in the back of the truck, because back then, you pick up trucks, kids can lay down in the back of them, and nobody cared. Yeah. So we had to lay down in the back of this truck, my sister and I, and not look out the windows to where we were going. And then I remember my mom hitting the back window and pointing out to the sign. I vividly remember at the Oakley Drive-In, looking up, and they had made this Batman sign for the Oakley Drive-In. And I turned to my sister like, we're seeing Batman in the Drive-In! And like getting in there, and like, all these cars and people just going nuts for the movie. It was awesome. Darth Vader's Luke's father, Pal Biff, Bang, Black, and Blue. I don't even know what that means. Oh, that's a spoiler, I guess. 
Hey, speaking of tattoos, I've always wondered what your tattoo is with the red lines. It might be something super obvious that I don't know. Oh, but just come asking. on. Well, I, come on, it's not obvious to everybody. Um, it's from he he. It's obvious to you because you live with me. That's true. It's from GI Joe. It's Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. A lot of people are like, "Oh, you like Pink Floyd? It's from the Wall." Um, what? Yeah, it's it's the GI Joe, um, Arashikagi. It's it's it'll look twisted if I go this way, so I can go <laughs> kind of like this. But it's the Arashikagi tattoo. I have four tattoos. Um, Snake Eyes Arashikagi one, the Terran Empire from Star Trek, um, the I have a Batman symbol on one leg, and I have Trap Jaw from uh, He Man on the other one. Uh, I want J.K. Simmons back as J.J. I also want J.K. Simmons back as J.J. Maybe that'd be an awesome twist at the end. If J.K. Simmons showed up as J.J., that would be awesome. Uh, do you think Disney will fix the X-Men franchise? I personally don't think the X-Men franchise is broken. I thought it was... I like Dark Phoenix. Uh, they're going to have to start all over, though. I don't think they're ever going to... I don't think they're going to carry on anything from there. Uh, David Patrick says, I've got two movie Batman comic books of Batman Forever and Batman Returns. That's awesome, dude. This movie comics kind of are really cool. I saw Batman 89 at Drive-In about five years ago. It was awesome seeing it on a big screen for once. Free drinks and snacks were included. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. We went and saw it. Uh, Blaze and I saw it at a theater not too long ago. Um, you and I saw, or the three of us together saw Batman Returns for the re-release. We couldn't go to see Batman on time because it was at 1 o'clock, which is ridiculous. Uh, did I ever sneak in to see a movie? I remember Poltergeist, my friends forced me. No, I was uh, very much a... Afraid to get in trouble, kid. I didn't sneak into stuff or do stuff that I, I think could have, have cost me like losing my toys or my comics or something toys. like that. You know, I don't want to have something taken away from me. So you I always care be like, nah, in jail. He just want your toys. I'm good. Uh, I saw Jim Lee's Instagram story. He showed his kid Batman '89 for the first time. It reminded me a lot of what you guys did. That's really awesome. I'll have to check that out. I didn't know he did that. Um, you've never seen a movie at a drive-in theater since? Oh. That's crazy, dude. Man, there was a lot of cool drive-ins around town. The Holiday Auto Theater, that one's really cool. And I think there's one over in um, the Starlight. There's one of those over there now, too. I miss Oakley. That was the one I went we to as a kid. Ghostbusters um, drive-in. Yeah, we saw Ghostbusters at, at the, uh, the Holiday. Yeah, you fell asleep. That's okay. The movie they, yeah, it was the second feature on there. Uh, do you like Batman Beyond, the animated series, or was it not your taste? I liked Batman Beyond. I thought it was fun. I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was, was good. Uh, hey James, do you like Hellboy comic books? Or they are making a books on a book. I like the Hellboy. Yeah, Hellboy's great. I thought in the Spider-Man comic books, Mysterio was a villain. Don, yes, Mysterio is a villain in the comics. Uh, so that might be a twist in the movie. I don't know. I, I would, oh, I would hope. Now, if you're right. Yeah, I would hope that Mysterio is a villain. I hope that they didn't change you. Uh, Ryan says the only movie that rivaled Batman '89 was the 1990 TMNT movie. The hype was pretty intense. I remember lines being just as long. I feel like for um, the Turtles movie, the hype was more for the younger crowd, though. And Batman 89 was all ages of hype. Like, adults were hyped, kids were hyped, everybody was hyped. Did you ever read Batman 89 movie comic? I wonder if it's different. There is a couple of different things in the Batman 89 movie comic um, that aren't in the movie. Like, deleted scenes that made it into the comic, but that weren't trimmed out for the movie. Like, for one, um, when the, the money's coming down on the parade, they look at the money and it's got Joker's face on it. So there's that one and then there's the sequence at the end where Alexander Knox where they, they see the Batman cape laying there and they think that it's going to be Batman and they pull the cape back and it's Alexander Knox on the steps so there's a couple minor changes in the Batman 89 comic there's a deluxe version coming out you should pick it up uh, let's see Mark Hamill Joker or Jack Nicholson I've, I've always got to go with Jack Nicholson because he's live action he's my favorite live action Mark Hamill's my favorite animator I go to the Rosebud Cinema that theater has couches? Tommy Jones, Two Face. Tommy Jones, Two Face is, is better than that. Jack Nicholson and Joker. I don't agree with you, David. I'm sorry. Uh, villains are Molten Man and Hydro Man. I think Spidey and Mysterio team up, and he probably betrays him. That would be a nice twist. That would be a good twist. The Molten Man and Hydro Man, in my opinion, again, I know nothing about the movie. I feel like they're illusions by Mysterio to make him seem like a hero, and he's got some other plan going on. I don't know. What was my favorite action figure as a kid? Uh, I really loved my original four Ghostbusters. Liked those a lot. Liked He Man a lot. I, it was probably a stuffed animal, actually. Um, Gizmo. Oh, Gizmo. He's awesome. Yeah, I got Gizmo when I turned six. Um, the plush Gizmo. And he went everywhere with me. I still have him to this day. As each of the kids were younger, they would get Gizmo. Um, and it's about great time for Gracie to have Gizmo now. Um, so that, that he was probably my favorite toy. As far as favorite action figure goes, 
I really like Snake Eyes version 3. I thought that was a really cool Snake Eyes. Um, my Ghostbusters, Optimus Prime. There's a lot. It's tough. Yeah, that's it's tough, really man. Tough. I had very taste as a kid. But Gizmo was probably my number one. I adore Batman Beyond, but hated him. Hated that made him a clone and Batman. Oh, that was terrible. That was awful. When they made him a clone in Justice League, it was terrible. Um, Jamie says, Joel Schumacher Batman films are better than Burton Batman films. I disagree, Jamie. I think that's... I, everybody's got their own opinions, but that's not mine. Uh, Two-Face lost all credibility in Batman for when they had keep flipping his coin to get the result he wanted. Yes! That was awful. He flips his coin and gets the... That's all it is. He can't just keep flipping it over and over again to get what he wants. Um, I heard Alexander Knox was meant to die in the original movie. Yes, he was meant to die. Um, no, it's... it's it, I think that he was. They responded to him so well, Robert Wolves acting in his character so well that they they kept him on throughout the movie. Um, all time favorite toy was Steve Austin, Mego Twelve Inch, Chris Reeve Superman, and the Millennium Falcon. Oh, that's cool. Those are great picks. What's your favorite, Cincy? I should have asked you back. Now that you, I'm seeing on this here. Uh, I'm gonna jump back to these things real quick. Oh, yeah. uh, I love that. Uh, the only things I think we really need to say are. I, I guess, guess we really so. talked about the Legends rumors the yeah, last time. It. it was just about the, the three-pack and the two-pack. But everybody else is oh, talking about Batman, so we'll just keep talking about Batman. Uh, there's a San Diego Comic-Con version of Hulk coming out. Boom. There, we talked about it. I think the Hulk and the two-pack... It's the Hulk and the two-pack with the new head. It's on the retro-style card. It's at San Diego Comic-Con. It's $35. I'd rather have the Hulk Wolverine pack. It's a cooler oh, than yeah. Hulk. Yeah, that's... So I don't need it. That's the same... That's the kind of exclusive I don't... I like the ones I don't need. It's really cool. It's neat. I think it's cool in the retro card back. It's the bubble's got to be huge because yeah. he's going to be a huge figure. But that will bring one. Okay, let me go back here and see what people are saying. Gremlins three is still happening. I would love to see a Gremlins three. I got a Batman cake to celebrate the nineteen ninety nine film, and it was delicious. That's awesome. Um, what are the years for Blaze's birthday? He got a Batman eighty nine cake. At least Burton perfected Batman look like Nolan. I mean, yeah, Nolan's trilogy is good and all, but it doesn't hold up to Burton's perspective of Batman. I agree. I'd love to see a Burton Batman Beyond movie where Keaton plays an older Bruce Wayne. I would love that, Cincy. If they could get those guys to come back and do one more, I'd love it. That'd be awesome. Billy D wanted uh, to see you. Yeah, I would love to see Billy D. Williams as Two-Face. I would have loved that. Uh, David Patrick says, which Kenner Batman movie toy line would you like to see in Kenner form of Batman movie toys? I don't really know what that means, but I loved the Dark Knight collection and Batman Returns figures. Uh, did you get a chance to check out that custom six-inch Jack Nicholson Joker figure on Instagram? I totally forgot. Ah, oh, I gotta do a better job of remembering what people say in these things. SDCC exclusive NECA Nick Nicholson Joker. That would be amazing, but they're never going to pay for the likeness. Uh, NECA is very stingy when it comes to paying for extra likenesses. Uh, what is the name of Bruce Wayne's son? Damien. Damien Wayne. Damien Wayne. Oh, uh, let's see. Cincy Nerd says, my favorite action figures as a kid were D&D War Duke. Okay, version 2 Snake Eyes. I didn't actually have version 2 Snake Eyes as a kid, but I really wanted him. Uh, Brad Turner, I, I got him, I didn't want, I take that back. I didn't have him when he first came out. I got him later on in my childhood. But I bought Snake Eyes version 3 right as he came out. Uh, Brad Turner Mask and G1 Cliff Jumper. I had the red Bumblebee, and I loved Bumblebee, but everyone made fun of me, and they said it was Cliff Jumper, but it wasn't. It was red Bumblebee. It was Bumblebee. But they red. made him in red. Just like they did a clip jumper in yellow, they did a bumblebee in red. Okay. Nobody believed that he was bumblebee. They all said he was Can clip you jumper. Just switch the names? He was bumblebee. Clip jumper and bumblebee are two different molds. He was bumblebee. Wait, so I have a clip jumper is a sore spot for me. Uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan would make a perfect Thomas Wayne Batman in a Flashpoint movie. Yes, he would. Uh, Joker Purple Suit Kenner from 1999 Batman movie 29. That's a cool one. Would you rather have Batman Beyond with Keaton or Dark Knight Returns with him returning? I would. I prefer the storyline of Dark Knight Returns to the idea of Batman Beyond. I think, as far as a movie goes, Warner would. I think there's a better chance that Warner Brothers would do a Batman Beyond movie than they would do a Dark Knight Returns movie with him, because I feel like Warner would look at it as less like a Logan thing, like this is your last run, to more let's use the audience that would buy a Michael Keaton Batman film again to introduce a new Batman, and then this Batman can carry forward into other movies. So while I prefer Dark Knight Returns and would like to see that, I think there would be a better chance of Batman Beyond happening. I haven't seen Dark Knight Returns, to be interesting. Yeah, you have, to, you have to read it and then watch the animated movie, which is amazing. Yeah. What happened to NECA Quarter Scale? Is the Returns Batman version not going to happen? Alpha Trion 92 asks. I don't know, dude. 
We got Catwoman. We got uh, we got a Penguin. But what happened to Batman? You should remind me of Quicksilver there. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know, bro. <laughs> That's from uh, was that a uh, Apocalypse? Or is that Days of? That was Days of Future Past. Was it Days of Future sure. Past? I'm pretty sure it was. No, it was Apocalypse. Was it? It was Apocalypse. It was Apocalypse. That was an apocalypse, yeah, because Quicksilver wasn't in Days of Future Past very much. Okay. So when they get captured, he's like, we don't know, bro! It was apocalypse, wasn't it? <laughs> it was apocalypse. Uh, okay. Kevin Conroy as old Bruce Wayne. I'd be cool with that, too. Um, but I'd rather have Michael Keaton. Grissom. Jack, maybe we can make a deal. You sold me out for a woman. A woman, yeah. Great lines. My mom made batch-shaped cookies for today for me, and I love them. I wish your mom would have made batch-shaped cookies for me. Speaking of which, are you watching CW Batwoman? Me, um, no. I'm not interested. You know, I watched the, um, Batwoman, uh, I watched the crossover thing, the Flash Arrow crossover deal, because I wanted to see John Wesley ship as Flash, and then I got hosed, because they showed, like, two seconds of John Wesley ship as Flash, but I didn't find Batwoman that interesting. I thought that she was kind of lame, and I, I really didn't enjoy it. Uh... More to the point, what happened to the Hot Toys Penguin and Catwoman? I have no idea. We got, they teased all that stuff. Hot Toys does this thing where they tease stuff and they never do it, and it's very disappointing. Since he says, what is your favorite scene from all the Fox X-Men movies? For me, it's the Nightcrawler White House scene from X-Men 2. That scene is great. But I like Quicksilver. Quicksilver in Slow. Days of Future Past was pretty awesome. Um, the slow-mo scene. Yeah, he's, he's great. Uh, mine's got to be, though, Magneto in the bar from X-Men First Class, where he confronts the dudes... And it's like he shows the tattoo on his arm, and he sends that knife to the dude and says, I'm Frankenstein's monster. I was so good. Like, it, it's equal to the uh, Michael Keaton confrontation with Peter Parker and Spider-Man Homecoming for the edge-of-your-seat tension of that scene. Although the Nightcrawler scene was awesome. That was really that cool. That was really cool. Remember the 1989 Toy Biz Batmobile that had the removable plastic shield? I loved that as a kid. It was probably my favorite vehicle toy that I had as a child. Ryan, that, that Batmobile was awesome, and it was a two-seater, which was great. Because all the, both the Kenner Batmobiles are not two-seaters, and you could get both Robin and Batman in the Batmobile. The only thing that was missing was a canopy to cover. That was the disappointing thing about the Batmobile. Like, the actual, like, you know, the Keaton Batmobile, yeah. like the covering? This is open. They, you set the figures in there, but there's nothing covering them. Um... Where am I at? How do you like Justice League animated series like Batman Joker? I like the Justice League animated series. I think it's cool. Uh, HK, HK Asian? Is that is that how you say it? HK Asian? I, I don't know how to say your name. Uh, hey guys, still collecting Hot Toys? I haven't bought an actual Hot... I, I take that back. I got... Um, I recently got X-Men Last Stand Wolverine for cheap. And that's actually a way underrated figure. I thought it was really great. But I've been getting a lot of third-party guys and like knockoff guys like i've got that magneto which i think is awesome Magnet. the magtent i burped again <laughs> bless you thank you we bless each other when we burp it's something nice to do uh i know i was i was mad two seconds really deserved better who deserved better the two seconds with flash oh yeah john wilson ship i'm sorry dude i get i get so, i don't know another thing and i forget what i was talking about uh he deserved way better they made that suit they made a suit again and he's on screen for two seconds who does that really waste. My favorite Batman figures were Skywinch Batman. Are you talking about Ironwinch or Skywinch? Ironwinch was the one that was blue and gray. And Tim Drake Robin. And that Tim Drake Robin is still one of the top ten figures of all time. Those are my two favorite figures I still have this day. Hey James, look up Deadpool Musical Parts 1 and 2. I will do that. I say I will do that. And then I will forget to do that. Oh, but I know you messaged me on Facebook, dude. So if you want to message me on Facebook, I will remember to do it then. At least the tease was nice. Bob never gets any love. Bob the Goon? Uh, let's see. Since he says, are you going to pick up the upcoming Mezco 89 Batman? Not the weird looking one they just previewed, but the 112 collector version. Funny thing, uh, since he, uh, Mezco reached out to me about a week ago and said, hey, we really love your Batman 89 website, which is 1989batman.com. Would you be interested in getting some preview pictures and some news about the Batman 89 product? And I got real excited because I thought they were talking about the Mezco 112 figure. But no, it was that new thing that just showed with the giant head and the purse, which I, that's fine if people like that. Uh, and I posted the news for them at 1989batman.com because they were nice enough to send me all of the pictures in the press release. So I posted all of it for them, but I was really disappointed that it wasn't the 112. I will buy the Mezco 112 Batman. Um, 
I think he looks great. I think he, he may be better than the Hot Toys. If he turns out to be as good as those pictures are, he'll be better than the Hot Toys version. Uh, let's see. So which Robin suit do you like? Batman and Robin or Batman Forever? Definitely Batman Forever. That Robin suit is awesome. Although Batman and Robin looks kind of like Nightwing. So it was kind of a yeah. cool step forward. They haven't told what the date is for the best Guardian of Batman. I thought for sure that today was going to be when they were going to release the information on it, but it wasn't. All they showed was that giant head thing with the moving eyes. Uh, Oliver says, have you read Watchmen? And if so, do you think it's overrated or do you think it lives up to the hype? I personally love it, but I prefer The Dark Knight Returns more. You nailed it. I also love Watchmen, but I think Dark Knight Returns is better. It's more rereadable for me, too. Like I, can I come back to Dark Knight Returns like every single year. I read it again and again and again. Uh, Don says, who's more powerful, Thanos or Apocalypse? I would say Thanos is more powerful than Apocalypse. Wake up. Uh, Skywinch in the Returns line. Okay, I gotcha. Blue and Gray. Well, that one's called Iron Winch in Dark Knight Collection. So, that's where I'm... I was confused on what you're saying there. Uh, imagine if Mezco also makes an 89 Batmobile. Whoa. That would be cool. Uh, there was a old, like, remote-controlled Batmobile. I think it was Bachman made it. And I'm wondering if that's close enough on scale that getting one of those... With the 89 Batmobile, uh, Batman from Mezco would look good. I'm going to have to look at what the scale was on it. Um, hey, I did say your name right. What's your verdict on the Hot Toys DeLorean? I didn't get it. I never got... I kind of kicked myself. I wish I got Marty McFly, but I didn't get Marty, Marty McFly. So I never got the, the um, DeLorean. It does look cool. I, uh, my buddy uh, online... Who had that? I can't remember. Somebody had it, and they posted pictures of it, and it looked really great, but it's just, it's not the card to me. It's too big, too expensive. Uh, do I read any current DC comics? I noticed most of your pickups are Marvel books. I gotta be honest, I got turned off by DC back when they did the New 52, and I, I've had a hard time going back. I think I've read maybe three or four books since they did that. Um, I really liked Batman Elmer Fudd. That's one of my favorite comics in the past, like, 15 years. And I did check out, I bought Deceased for Blaze, and I read the first one, and I thought, oh, that's interesting. But other than that, I haven't really read much. I did read Batman Year Zero, and I didn't think that was good at all. I was like, well, I'll give this Batman a shot, because everybody's talking about it. And I didn't think it was yeah. very good at all. Um, but I have heard good things, it's just really hard for me. I was so attached to, to DC pre-New 52, and I missed that time so much, that it's hard for me now to look at them and go, I'm going to try again. Um, I feel like more than Marvel, they did the whole goodbye to the old stuff, here's the new. Um, and at that point, I was like, okay, well, I guess I guess that's goodbye to me. I guess I'm not reading DC anymore. Um, let's see, Robert Justin Fan says, I have those Toys Era Magneto, love it too. Also got Young and Old Xavier and Wolverine, Days of Future Past. I wish I had Wolverine, Days of Future Past. I'm really mad I never picked that up. Do you um, not get it now? Uh, yeah, he's very expensive now. He's like a $500 figure now. Young and Old Xavier. I didn't get either one of those. I'm kind of on the fence if maybe I should get one of those. Uh, Oliver S. says, have you ever met Michael Keaton and gotten his autograph or anything? I do have his autograph, but I've never met him. Oh. I'm hopeful that he starts to do shows, because I would love... That's my number one. Michael Keaton's my number one to meet. Dolph Lundgren's my number two. I want to meet Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire's my number, my number two. And Dolph Lundgren's my <laughs> number three. He just needs to do that. <laughs> it changes quickly. Uh... <laughs> Let's see, I really recommend the current miniseries Doomsday Clock. He gives explanation to New 52 and Rebirth Universe. It's, that book was super late, if I'm not mistaken, right? Like, it's, it's taken a while for it to get out. Um, I may pick it up and trade. I may check out Doomsday Clock and trade. You guys need the Mezco Ghostbusters. I actually bought the Mezco Ghostbusters, and I let them go. Because I have so many different Ghostbusters that I didn't feel the need that I need to have that scale. I got so many Ghostbusters, I was like, you know what? I don't need them. And I, I passed them on. I passed them on to somebody else. Uh, let's see. Anyone know what's up with the three Jokers? I don't know. I don't even know what that means. Uh, James, did you watch Kids WV back in the day? Yeah, I did. I watched Kids WV. I think Modern DC ended for me around the Infinite Crisis in 2006. That was the beginning of the end for me as well, Vinkman. I, I did not like... Uh, identity crisis and the way that went and then from going forward it's like you know what they're losing me uh, since he says that Doomsday Clock gets delayed a lot but it really is worth it uh, you know I really should probably give some of those books a chance again 
hopefully they're getting... I've heard a lot of good things about Superman and the way he's kind of going back to the old Superman. So I probably should give it a chance. Doomsday Clock, I probably will check it out in trade form. I'm just not a big fan of uh, Watchmen being taken to other levels. I think Watchmen is a finite story, and you don't really need to add more on to Watchmen. So anytime they do extra stuff with Watchmen, I'm like, yeah, you kind of don't need to. Watchmen's just Watchmen. Watchmen doesn't need to be before Watchmen, and it doesn't need to be Doomsday Clock. But if the story's good, and the art is good, then maybe I'll give it a shot. I do love the Gary Frank covers. Every time Gary, Gary Frank does those covers, I look at him like, oh, that's a great cover. Um, but I don't, I don't judge a book by its yeah, cover. Don't judge, don't you don't judge a book by its cover. All right. Let's see. I feel like Beware the Batman was too short-lived. I, don't remember, I didn't really watch Beware the Batman. Which actor in Ghostbusters do you like? I like all the actors in Ghostbusters. I can't just say just oh, one. They're all the great. They're all the great actors. All right, where are we at? It's like 9.30. We're only for like an hour now. Your phone probably My phone's going to die. die. It's going to die soon. <laughs> it's just going to go down. It's going to die. And it's going to freeze up like it did the one time. And we're just going to be stuck in one spot. So, oh, 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 oh. That's a question for Keaton. Uh, how does it feel being a toy collector going into high school? I had anxiety when I did. Well, oh. Keaton's only going into seventh grade. Yeah, so it's not that. I know, so he's still got a little time left. Um, but for the most part, they're yeah. pretty fine with just like... I don't care. You know, it's different than when... I don't know how old you are, HK, Agent... I think I said your name right again. Uh, I don't know if it's... If it's... How old you are. I'm 40. So when I was going through high school, it was more frowned upon now. Everything. Like, comic books, toys, all that stuff was all kind of like, eh. My friends already know I read comics eh. and play toys, so... Yeah. It, it, back then, though, it was kind of frowned upon. Everybody thought it was really lame, and you were a nerd, and you were a geek, and you needed to grow up if you like that stuff. And nowadays, with everything being so more prevalent, and all the movies and stuff, that's more accepted. Like right? collecting is more accepted. Um, comic reading is more accepted as more of an art form. Collecting toys is looks at an investment or something cool in your desk. Funko Pops are everywhere. People have Funko Pops at work. So toy collecting itself has just become more mainstream. So, uh, yeah, it's... Oh, I just saw somebody leave a comment for you. Uh, I think that you'll be all right. <laughs> uh, let's see. I really want to meet Ernie Hudson. Jaron, you know, he's going to be at the Cincinnati Comic Expo, and he's going to be there on Saturday. I'm not going to be there on Saturday, so I'm super bummed. I see this image company calls you. Love the Ghostbusters. Want some items? Sure, they send all the females. <laughs> yeah, uh... Yeah, uh, I don't know, man. Imagine if Tilly Aguirre and Andrew Garfield both show up at the end of Far From Home as Spider-Man from Alter Nurse. <laughs> I would lose my mind, dude. If, if they had Toby come back at the end of that movie, I'd lose my mind. You're, you're Question for you, Keaton. How do you like the first two Batman movies? How do you like the first two Batman movies? Great. Great. Uh, Keaton, Veer says he's a big fan of yours. Look, it's your friend, Veer. He says yeah. hi. He says LOL. Uh, oh, do I watch Veer. Dr. Koo? Veer's going crazy. Hey, Veer. There. Um, he's got so many things in here, I'm losing track of the other ones. Uh, let's see. Can you <laughs> shout out to me, AJ Urson? Or Irvin? Irvin. Hey, out. AJ Irvin. AJ Irvin. Um, Robert Justice Fans is not into Punk Funko Pops. What if Hellboy meets Batman in a live action movie? That would be awesome. All this coming together. Don Thomas, uh, I watched uh -oh, some of the classic yeah. Doctor Who's. Um, I watched like some Tom Baker stuff, and I really liked Chris Eccleston. I watched that run, but then I kind of lost interest after that. So, uh, I didn't really watch anything with David Tennant. I, I like Doctor Who, and I don't know why we did I didn't watch more, but I really liked Chris Eccleston, so... <laughs> You're just going crazy. There's yeah. a lot of comments here. Fan of Stranger Things Season 3 trailer looks incredible. We love Stranger Things, uh, but I have not watched the newest Season 3 trailer. I heard there was a new one, but I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. Cincy, do you collect those McFarlane figures? What do you think about those? Uh, whoa. I don't know what that says, AJ. I see base, tall, gotten, silver surfer, Marvel Universe figure. I don't know what that means, dude. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, is there any Marvel movie that trumps Batman Returns for you? Probably not. Batman and Batman Returns are like my top two comic films. Uh, I would say if, if anything comes close, it's Spider-Man, the Tony McGuire Spider-Man, or mm -hmm. Captain America, the first Avenger. Uh, they look great, but I don't have any. I have a few of them. I, the Demogorgon is awesome. If you can find them on clearance at Target, 
You should pick that up. They're going down fast. Uh, whoa, Briscoe says another great stream, guys. Have a good week, and he gave us two of these. So I'm going to give you two of these back. Beer says, you look different. Who? Who? Me or you? Uh, how did you like Ron Perlman playing Hellboy in the first film? I like Ron Perlman. Yeah, I thought it was great. Tom. Can we all, can we do a figure collection, like a figure collection video? I guess, at some point. Maybe. Uh, what are your thoughts on Star Wars Episode Nine, and The Return of Emperor Palpatine? I think it kind of, I mean, it might be cool, but I think it's a little bit of desperation. It's like, Probably okay. The last Jedi. Yeah, it's, the they got of... rid of the villain that was built up to be something in the new trilogy, and now they gotta go, okay, well, what can we do? Guess we're gonna bring the Emperor back. And I'm, I'm excited about seeing the Emperor again, but I, I'm gonna wait on Episode Nine until it's out for a bit before I see it. I got burned by Episode Eight. I did not enjoy it. Um, Beer says Tom Holland's the best. Everyone has their own opinion. Everyone's got their own opinion, and sometimes they're wrong. Um, let's see. I mean, I have to say, I mean to say, have y'all gotten Silver Surfer and Marvel Universe figure? I've got Silver Surfer and Marvel Legend, but I don't have a, the Marvel Universe version. Um, is that Marvel Universe ones are the small ones, right? Do you even have that one? That one came with uh, Galactus, right? Uh, I don't know. I, he I don't have that. Really. Galactus. So maybe I do have that. Um, yes, we have seen Batman vs. Ninja Turtles. We talked about it at the beginning of the pod, or the pod, at the beginning of the live stream, and we both really enjoyed it. It is very, it is dark, and there's, it's awesome. It's really cool. Uh, which Mezco toys do I like? I really like the Iron Man, um, the classic Iron Man that they did. I like the brown costume Wolverine, and I think the Popeye is crazy good. Venkman says, speaking of Stranger Things, I was at Burger King yesterday, and they had brought back the old school 80s style packaging. Oh my gosh, are you serious? I'm going to have to go to Burger King. Uh, Beer's bucket list is complete. Ryan Johnson ruined the sequel trilogy. I hate to say it because I love the movie Looper. Thank you, Cincy. He did. It's going to be really hard for J.J. to turn the ship around after Last Jedi. I can't see a way to make it work. Um, <laughs> but, you know, who knows? Don't trust episode nine. Hey, look, the Emperor of the movie turns out to be a hologram. Got bar once. No thanks. I'm in the same boat. I'm going to wait. And I kind of I feel really bad for Solo because Solo was pretty decent. I never watched it. And it, it got just destroyed at the box office because everybody's burned by the Last Jedi. So it's... I'm, I'm really curious to see how Episode 9 does. If it's going to be able to recover from what Episode 8 was, what the deal is. Um, what about Hellboy 2004 movie toys? Which ones do you like? I like them all. Oh, yeah, they're all What's your favorite Spider-Man suit? Ooh. Oh, can you go hit the thing? Because I think it's probably said uh -oh. 20%. Uh oh. Does it say that? Yeah, it says... Just say confirm. Close, right? No, yeah, just close. Okay. It should start the stream back up. Sorry, my phone is about to die, so we're going to have to cut this off. Um, hopefully this, this will start moving again in a second. Uh, I don't, my favorite Spider-Man suit is the Tommy Wire suit. Yeah, that one's great. I love there we that go. one, yeah. Uh, it's hard for me going to high school as an actor. I know, Jaren. It's tough, dude. It's tough. But you got some buddies right here, man. Me? You got some buddies right here. You're not even on camera anymore. Get over oh, here. Whoops, whoops. Get over here. Uh, I guess, uh, okay, so Blaze isn't, isn't going to make it down for this one. We're going to cut it off. Blaze will be back next week. I think he's playing too much Red Dead Redemption, and that's what's, it's burning out his brain cells. <laughs> you know, I think that's the problem. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. we got to sign off yeah, yeah, here, yeah. okay, because my phone's dying. So, got to go. It's great talking to everybody. See you, Cincy. Safe trip, buddy. I'm going to miss you. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you in some live streams. Maybe there's some weird chance that we'll be in the shop at the same time this week before you go, but I doubt it. Have a safe trip, dude. Um, good seeing everybody on here. Love talking to you guys. Thanks for coming every week. See you again next Sunday at 8.30. Talk to you later. Um, Bye. Goodbye. All right. I'm just going to scoot this way. <laughs> just scoot this way a little bit. Bye, everybody. Just going to scoot over this way so you can't see me anymore. Okay. I'm going to go around this way. Out. I'm out. I'm going to go around here.